So you always hear people talking about collecting games or collecting consoles or like collecting, I don't know, games and consoles. But one thing I rarely hear people talking about is collecting controllers. So for this community day, we're gonna see what everybody thinks of collecting controllers. Anyways, let's get into the video. Hey everyone, my name's Harry Atomic and it's a day late, but uh, it's time for another community day. So, in response to a question by Bruce Banner, yes that one, Bruce asks, I've been debating on collecting faceplates for a while now. There's a Soul Calibur one that is super awesome, but I think I'm going to start collecting some first party controllers as there's quite a few awesome variants. Maybe that would make a good community day video. So I'm going to take your advice and we're going to see if it does make a good community day video. I mean, if it doesn't, then Bruce Banner, I'm coming for you and it'll be the whole Hulk versus Harry Atomic for control of Community Day. Oh my God, it's going to be so good. So what I did was I put a poll on YouTube and asked you guys what you thought of collecting controllers. So it seems that the majority of people don't collect controllers, but some people do pick up like a variant controller if they need another one, maybe just if they see something that they like. And a very small amount of people will actually go out of their way to collect controllers. Now this is kind of what I expected, but really what I was looking for was the reasons why. So let's dive into the comments and see what you guys think. So Gernaldinho Plays says, No, I don't collect, but I see it as an unexpected treat when I need a new one. What with all the special editions out there and my fave, the Xbox Design Lab. So you bring up something very interesting there. I mean, yes, people do collect limited edition controllers. However, the Xbox Design Lab pretty much just allows you to design your own controller in whatever scheme you want. Why haven't I done this shit? Why don't I have a pink and green controller? I love pink and green. It's my favorite color combination. Did you know there's no such thing as pink light? It's just all colors of light minus green light. And that's why they're opposite colors. Anyways, I just wanted to mention your comment mainly just because I wanted to talk about Xbox Design Lab and how much that I like it. And I wanted to ask everyone to like let me know what their color combinations are or if you have an Xbox Design Labs controller, like let me know down below. I would just love to see what people are coming up with when designing their own like color schemes for controllers. Anyways, sorry I hijacked your comment in order to ask people about those types of controllers, but you brought it up so I thought, hey, Colonel Dino's got my back. I'll use his comment to ask people about Design Lab. Thanks very much. So anyways, on to the next comment, Manatee Gaming says, I feel like I'm in between the second and third option, where if I have money for a controller and I need another, and a nice limited edition one is available, then I'll buy, but I don't collect them outright. So this has been my thought process lately, even though I haven't actually bought any. But if you need another controller, or you want another console, or if you need another console, like if yours breaks, or you just need one for whatever reason that we make up to need these things, then I really don't see any reason why that you shouldn't pick up like a limited edition one, especially if you're buying like new consoles. So for example, I'm looking for an Xbox One X, although I still haven't convinced myself to buy one. Why must I just be so bad with money? So if I need an Xbox One X and I always like to buy my consoles new if I can, because then you get a warranty and stuff. And if it's the newest console out, then you know you're getting the box and all the wee inserts and stuff. So you can like look after it straight from the factory like a newborn. Oh my goodness. But in that instance, you may as well buy a limited edition one if you need another one. So if I needed another controller I would just buy a limited edition one if I needed another console or if I saved up enough money or found enough money to get an Xbox One X I'd probably just go out and buy something like the Gears special edition one or that Fortnite special edition one I don't like Fortnite but I like purple did I mention I also like pink and green and purple but not together only pink and green together purple separate oh my goodness purple see-through oh don't even get me started on see-through stuff uh, yeah but I think that's amazing advice if you need something new for your collection or you're replacing something you may as well try and pick up something limited edition add a wee bit of flair under your collection, you know, and just kind of make something nice to display. So anyways, the last comment that I'm going to mention today is from Bench Joiner, who says, I find limited edition controllers cool. I do not seek them out. I find them overpriced. I'd rather spend money on the games. Honestly, of all the hype around limited edition controllers and all of the love for like all those cool looking like purple Xbox One Xs and pink and green design lab Xbox controllers. <sighs> What was I talking about again? But yeah, ultimately controllers are probably one of the most expensive things that you're going to buy. No, I'm not saying that that price isn't warranted because let's face it, it's your primary input method for your... Now that's not to say that this is overpriced. I mean, it is the primary input method for your console and it does take a lot of a beating if you're really bad at games like I am. So ultimately something that's used that much and stands up to that much pressure, I would say would probably carry a bigger price tag. However, ultimately I do agree with you. If you 
have a controller and you don't need any more. But ultimately, yes, I do agree with you. Like I have, I think, seven or eight controllers for the Xbox 360 and they all came as part of bundles that I bought with consoles and games and things. So ultimately, I don't really need to buy any more. If I was buying a limited edition controller, it would literally just be because I like it. But ultimately, games are the thing where you're going to sink most of your money in if you've got a collection. If you're anything like me and you want to get like a massive set or you're going for something like really large, more than likely spend the money on games is going to get you there faster than spending money on a limited edition controller. Now, that's not to say that I don't like limited edition controllers or you shouldn't buy them because obviously it's your money. You do whatever you want. If it makes you happy, then you spend that money guilt free and enjoy yourself unless you don't like it, in which case don't. But yeah, this segues me very nicely into what I think of collecting controllers. So personally, I float in the middle. I'm one of these people that if I need something, I'll buy a limited edition variant of it. If I don't need something, then I'm not going to go out of my way to buy it. I'm more than likely going to sink money and be trying to get closer to my goal of completing the 360 set than I am for buying accessories. Now, in saying that, there are some accessories that I'm keeping my eyes out for and I just love and I just really, really want. So for example, there's a joystick kind of Atari 2600 looking thing for the 360. I don't need it, but I really want it. Also, there's two Halo 3 like painted controllers. There's like a Covenant one and there's like a Halo Dude Master Chief Halo controller. And I really want those controllers. I think they also came with figurines. I don't want the figurines. I collect Amiibo. I don't need any more toys and things around the house. But for example, I would go out of my way to buy those controllers because I think they would look nice on the shelf. I remember working in a toy store, the famous toy store I was talking about that I worked on and had all these mad adventures seemingly because it's all I ever talk about. I worked the release of Halo 3 and I remember getting like a box of those controllers on and I remember like I used to work nights so I used to like stay open late and like clean up the shop for the next day and I would do all the displays and stuff and because I was really into Halo and I loved the fact that Halo 3 was coming out. I made like a cool display with like the game and like some posters and then the limited edition controllers down each side and like most of the controllers sold out but I just remember how awesome they looked and how hyped I was for that game and how much seeing these controllers just hyped me up. So that kind of makes me want to get those ones in particular but again it's only because I have like a special connection to them. For example I'm probably not going to go out of my way to buy all the crazy funky color ones except the pink 360 controller that one was really nice and the green one. Oh no am I going to start collecting controllers? But yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you collect controllers or if you want to know anything about controllers or if you just need to vent about something that you collect that's maybe a bit out of the ordinary, I'd love to hear about it. So let me know down in the comments below. Also, Community Day is run off the back of your questions. So if you want to know anything, you want me to make a Community Day video on something, again, let me know down below and we'll run a poll. We'll get everybody's opinion and we'll put together a video. If you like videos like this, then please consider getting subscribed to the channel. I try to put out two videos every single week. One in the middle of the week where we do community day like this one and we chat about something as a community and one at the end of the week where I just put together a general Xbox video of something that I think is cool and want to share with you guys. There's like a whole playlist. You should check them up here. I put together like loads of playlists. Also if you want to know anything more about collecting controllers or face plates or consoles or just anything in general to do with the 360, then the best place to do so is on the Xbox 360 Hub Discord. Those guys are doing loads of work on there. I've seen controllers that I've never seen before. There's like a white sparkly one that I really want that came along with some like weird custom consoles. It's just crazy. It's mad. The amount of stuff you see on there is just mind blowing. So definitely check it out. It's also a wonderful community if you want to just chat about Xbox stuff. Everybody knows so much. Half the stuff I know came from there. It's great. You should join. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. And I'll see you guys next time.